Okay, so let's do some practical application questions. Look at this. It says the area of a rectangle is 5 meters squared. So, okay, there's our rectangle. We know that that's 5 meters squared. And 5 meters squared means that it's length times width, okay? So, length times width equals to 5. Boy, that's really, really tough. But here comes the interesting part. Your length is actually this. It's a radical. Well, wait a second. It says calculate the width. How would you, from this point right here, calculate the width? Well, of course, you would divide each side by L, right? Ls would cancel here, giving you W equals to 5 over L. But look what the length is. The length is 3 plus root 3. Okay, so in other words, what we've got here is we've got 5 over 3 plus root 3. Three. That's what the width is going to be. And that's straight out. Like, I, I think you learned that way back in about grade five or grade six. Now, here's something that's interesting. This is what makes this a math 20-1 question. You've got five over three plus root three that has to be rationalized now. Well, that's easy. We've done much, much tougher ones than that. You know that that's that, and there's the conjugate. You know from now on that if you're multiplying the, by the conjugate, you don't do the oi in foil. So let's just go, and there it is. Multiply it out. Five times three, 15. 5 times root 3 is minus 5 root 3. There's your top. Everything's fine. Let's do the bottom, right? 3 times 3, which of course is 9. Root 3 times root 3, so that's minus 3. So you got 15 minus 5 root 3 all over 6. You are done. Now, you're probably seeing yourself... How can that be the dimensions for length and width? That's, got, that's crazy. No way can that be the dimensions for length and width. Okay, so I'm glad you're asking me that. Because you know length times width has to equal to 5. Let's take that length. The length which we knew was 3 plus root 3, right? And the width, which we just figured out to be 15 minus 5 root 3 over 6. Oh my goodness. That's just gross, isn't it? Well, not so bad. Watch what happens. Let's multiply this thing out and see what we actually get here. Let me bring it back on the screen. There it is. Let's actually multiply this out. You know that this is over 1. So you're just going to multiply. Guess what? 1 times 6, which is 6. Up top here, look, you just have to do FOIL. 3 times 15, well, that's 45. That's not so bad. Outer, which is 3 times minus 5 root 3, which is minus 15 root 3. Inner, which is, guess what? Look at that. Plus 15 root 3. That, in fact, is going to cancel for us right away. And then check this out. Root 3 times minus 5 root 3 is minus 5. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. Check it out. This is going to freak you out when you see it. So this and this, of course, cancels, leaving you with 45 minus, well, 5 times 3 is 15 over 6. 45 minus 15 is 30. 30 divided by 6, lo and behold, is 5 meters squared. There's your area. Wow, isn't that just awesome?